Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it is surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. As I've stated before, yes, my name is Different. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which educates, entertains, and inspires all at once. And so with that being said, you guys, happy Tuesday. Again, if this is your first time, definitely hit that subscribe button. If this is more than your uh, second time back, welcome back to my world, you guys. Happy to have you. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, so we are dropping our social awareness content, hence the big words in my uh, motto, social awareness to society. Uh, so today, uh, social awareness blog that we're dropping, it's going to be in honor of December being HIV AIDS Awareness Month. And so as you guys can see, I got on my red for you guys today, uh, honoring uh, those that are uh, affected by HIV AIDS that lost their battle to AIDS and uh, even the family and friends uh, for uh, people that are living with uh, this virus and so this one is for you. Um, getting right into it, uh, guess a little bit of the format how I want to do it today. I uh, give you guys some facts, of course, you know, like I always like to draw, you know, drop a dope inspirational video or educational video for this uh, take uh, with you guys and I kind of, I like this one. I was looking around and I found um, <clears throat> A, uh, a little um, show that's uh, done in the Caribbean or the Bahamas is called It's a Fact and they do educational uh, videos for kids and so they did one in regards to HIV and AIDS and dispelling some of the myths and so I'm excited to share that with you guys uh, but beforehand I definitely want to share with you guys uh, the facts about AIDS and HIV and uh, what I've found and where it came from. I'm not going to get deep into it again also be advised that although I am giving you guys these facts and information uh, do your own research uh, find out you know information you know that that you know you're more interested in uh, I have done my own research but again it's always on you to do your own homework and find you know information that works for you or, or, or that's more interesting to you if you don't like what you're hearing what I'm telling you if you want a fact checker make sure I'm telling you guys correctly you go do that on your own that's basically you know what I'm telling you before I get started Okay, and so with that being said, uh, for the facts I found off of uh, one.org or uh, a, from a writer by the name of Ms. Witter, I believe, uh, some of the facts that I found from her website, um, and actually uh, one that I did not know and it kind of dispelled some of the myths that I was thinking of how HIV and AIDS got started. Uh, it originated in the late 1800s and it was done through in West African chimpanzees. You guys, a lot of times it, they say that oh, it started in Africa, but they never know exactly where it was started with uh, chimpanzees and it was known as the simian autoimmune deficiency virus at first uh, it wasn't until like I said the late early 19 excuse me late 1800s early 1900s it started to take on the name HIV and <clears throat> second fact that I have found uh, HIV and AIDS are two totally different things AIDS is autoimmune deficiency it's uh, the virus that is contacted through HIV it's basically what HIV grows into it grows into AIDS uh, excuse me AIDS and AIDS is what uh, attacks the uh, T-cell viruses and what doesn't allow for a person's immune system to fight off the virus and it ultimately kills that person so HIV is uh, a virus that can, if early on caught and detected, can be treated. There is no cure, but it can be treated. Uh, they have the antiretroviral uh, uh, drugs now that is also called the art drug uh, that they didn't have before, but they have now. So millions of Americans, I've found that at least 28 million um, uh, people living with the virus have access to the drug. Um, also, out of um, uh, people living in the U.S., 38.4 million people uh, were diagnosed uh, or uh, are living with HIV AIDS in uh, 2021. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but luckily, like I said, uh, it, uh, with respect to those that don't have access, at least 28.7 million people have access to these drugs to help uh, maintain uh, their HIV status um, and ultimately for those uh, who take their pills daily uh, after a certain time it becomes almost undetectable so you basically cannot pass it off to your partner. Uh, 
Um, another fact that I found that uh, anybody can get HIV. It doesn't matter. A uh, long time ago, back in the 80s, uh, when AIDS, pan excuse me, yeah, the AIDS pandemic uh, first hit, uh, it was heavily hit in the gay community, mostly in gay men. Uh, it still is affected in the gay community. However, um, the gays were used basically as scapegoats back then for the cause of the AIDS. Uh, you know, they, they dubbed it as the gay-related disease. I, I think I remember it was the GDR, the gay-related disease. It's what they would call it. And there were so many people dying left and right from this disease. And so luckily, you know, fast forwarding uh, 20, 40 years, excuse me, 40 years later, uh, they fought so hard, we fought so hard in, in coming up in, with a, uh, not a cure, so to speak, but a, a uh, a counter uh, attack for these this virus and so uh, for those out there that's living with these uh, this, this virus people that are affected by it like myself um, I know family and friends that have been affected uh, by the virus being you know born with it getting it through sharing needles or sexually transmitted uh, diseases I've, I've known to come across people that have been affected with these disease and it and, and, and even in my family um, so, uh, for those that are going through, you know, this battle, uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you guys, and you keep fighting. <laughs> with that being said, you guys, I think it'll be a great time to introduce this uh, dope video, educational video that I found for you guys. And I like the way they set it up. It's done through the eyes of children, and they're talking about AIDS and HIV, as well as, you know, the myths and the rumors that, you know, goes along with it, as well as the discrimination that people face. Uh, those who who have AIDS or HIV, you know, oftentimes, at times when they disclose, you know, their their health status, um, some people, not all, they you know begin to you know discriminate against them. You know, they look at them as a bad person or a sick person. Oh, I'm going to catch this if I, if I touch them. You know, so <laughs> with all that being said, check out this video. I was watching it and I'm thinking, wow, they have this set to explain it as. You know, like explaining it to kids, but adults need to watch this as well. So here it is. Check it out. And once we're done, you guys come back on with your girl different. And I'll let you guys guys know a little bit more about what's going on in different world. Yeah, here it is. If we all educate ourselves, we can help to stop the spread of HIV. I'd love to live in a world where HIV was history. And welcome to It's a Fact. I'm Mala. And I'm Nicholas. And this is our dog, Eddie. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to talk about HIV AIDS and the effect it can have on people living with the virus. There is no cure for HIV, but there is medication to help an infected person. There are other ways, though, that HIV can make someone's life more difficult. Do you mean the sadness that stigma and discrimination can bring to a person with HIV and their family? That's right. I don't think people realize how hurtful they can be. In this next section, our two guests share with us their experience of living with the stigma of HIV. We're not going to tell you our names. And we're not going to show our face. But we're going to tell you about HIV. We are brother and sister. I am HIV negative. And I am HIV positive. I was born with the virus, and so I have to take my medicines every day. The doctor tells me that if I take my medication, I can live a long and happy life. I don't think the doctor is right about living a happy life, because I see my sister crying almost every day. She doesn't cry because she feels sick, but because people are mean to her. Mommy tells me that children are cruel because they don't know better. She says you can't get the virus by sharing a joke, hugging someone, or by being friendly. It makes me angry when I see how my sister is treated. She's really good at sports, and when we play at home, she wins many times. But on the field, when the captains are choosing their teams, my sister is always left last, even though she can play better than most of the others. I guess I'm getting used to it a little. I've stopped trying to make friends with anyone. I spend all my break times with my brother or in class pretending to finish my schoolwork. 
This is my last year at our school and I am really worried about leaving my sister behind. I think she will be very lonely. I saw her making a poster that said, Friends Wanted. But that's not the way to make friends. Stigma and discrimination are so unnecessary. Absolutely. You know, I think that some people wrongly believe that it's easy to get HIV, almost like catching the flu. But that's nonsense. The HIV virus cannot travel in the air. It can only be passed through three body fluids, blood, breast milk, and sexual fluids. That's why it's so important for us all to know the facts about HIV. You cannot tell if someone has HIV by looking at them. In fact, many people who have the HIV virus do not know that they are infected because they do not show any symptoms for many years. This is why it is important that people are tested for HIV. There is no cure, but there are medicines which will help an HIV positive person live longer. You cannot get HIV from the air or from food or water or from any animals. HIV can only be passed from one person to another through three body fluids. These are blood, breast milk, and sexual fluids. The HIV virus can travel through wounds. This is why it is important to cover all cuts with a clean bandage or plaster. HIV can also be passed through sexual fluids. Because many people who have HIV do not know they are infected, it is important for a person to protect themselves by always using a condom if they are sexually active. HIV can also be passed from mother to child when pregnant, at childbirth, or through mother's milk. The HIV virus cannot travel through other body fluids such as saliva, mucus, sweat, tears, or body waste. Your immune system works to keep you healthy. The CD4 T cell is like a commander cell which tells soldier cells to destroy foreign invaders. But when HIV enters, it destroys the commander cells. When this happens, the soldier cells no longer know what to do and the HIV virus multiplies. When HIV causes a collapse of the immune system, a person has AIDS. Can you get HIV from sharing a toilet? No, HIV is not passed through body wastes. How about from shaking hands or hugging? No, HIV does not pass through the skin or in sweat. Can you get HIV from sharing needles or razor blades or from cuts? Yes, HIV can be transmitted by the blood of an infected person. Can you get HIV from kissing or sharing drinks or if someone coughs or sneezes on you? No, HIV cannot pass through mucus or saliva. Can a mother give her baby HIV? Yes, if the mother is infected with HIV, the virus can be passed to the baby during pregnancy childbirth or in the mother's breast milk. Can pets or farm animals give a person HIV? No, you cannot get HIV from animals or insects. What about mosquitoes? They suck human blood. No, mosquitoes only suck blood. They do not inject it. Are there other ways that a person can get HIV? Yes, the HIV virus can be transmitted through the sexual fluids of a man or woman. When the HIV virus has destroyed too many of the T cells in an individual, that person is said to have AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome. The symptoms of AIDS can include extreme tiredness, rapid weight loss, diarrhea, high fever, and swollen glands. In fact, early symptoms of AIDS are similar to the flu. As the T cell count continues to drop, AIDS patients become at risk of infections. You too can live a long and happy life. I've been HIV positive for most of my life, and now I'm hitting on a ripe old age. If you're feeling depressed, talk to someone. Anxiety and stress really don't help. Find something you love to do. I took up cycling. Eat well, take your meds, exercise, sleep loads, and love life. People who are HIV positive and on medication must remember to take their medicines correctly. They should also try to eat a balanced diet. 
Exercise often and get plenty of rest. Living a healthy lifestyle will help. It is also very important to have good friends who will support you if you or someone you love has HIV. HIV is not a punishment. It is a virus which affects so many people all over the world. Could you be a good friend? Someone who understands me? When I'm feeling low, will you try to have empathy? Will you listen when I talk and not interrupt, please? Don't dismiss how I'm feeling or rush to advise me. I'll need a true friend, one who's patient and kind. Someone supportive who'll be there every time. I won't always be happy or be able to play. My mood will be changing. I'll feel different each day. My home life affects me. I can't help that it does. I'll need a good friend who I know I can trust. My dad lost his job when he got HIV. It has badly impacted on our whole family. There's the stigma to cope with. We've lost friends from before and our income's affected. We've become very poor. Now the doctors have told Dad it's progressed into AIDS. They say that his life has limited days. I've never faced death. I don't know what it's like. I'll miss my dad dearly and cry every night. I'll need a good friend more than ever, you see. I know you'll understand me and will show empathy. HIV can affect anyone of any age, of any race, of any gender, of any religion, of any profession. There's no cure for HIV. Everyone should know the facts so that we can all help to stop the spread of HIV. All right, you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that inspirational, excuse me, I keep saying inspirational, but educational, you guys. Uh, this was definitely an eye-opener and a myth-buster, I like to say. Um, as it, If you guys seen the video, some of the rumors, you know, you can catch, you know, I didn't, and I used to think this growing up, or you can catch AIDS or STD by sitting on the toilet. That's what I was told coming up, but as I grew up, and learned about you know STDs and STIs and understanding how it's transmitted. Um, <laughs> just looking back, wow! Just it's, it's a lot of things that go on when you're uneducated in, in the mind. So educate yourselves, you guys. Uh, can't catch you know AIDS or HIV you know through sweat and spit, or crying. It can only be transmitted through sexually you know activities, uh, blood infusion. And so again, do your research and, 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 and find out these things, educate yourself. I don't know it all, uh, but before I sit there and pass judgment and make you know, uneducated guesses or, or, or comments, I'm going to go learn some things. I'm going to go find out before you know, I just say something that might offend somebody. And so uh, that's exactly what I did before I put together this vlog. You know, I did my own research and again, I encourage you guys out there to as well do your own research. Um, most also importantly, I want to advocate uh, for you know those out there that are sexually active. You know, being you know being young, old, you know, don't matter. You know, make sure you guys are protecting yourself and practicing safe sex. You know, safe sex and also include abstinence. You don't always have to you know follow the crowd and do what everybody else is doing. You can move to the beat of your own drum. I say that especially for the young women out there um, who's, who goes through that phase, you know, as a young woman, we go through that phase of, you know, being pressured into sex and afraid to tell a guy no, and if you do tell them no, then they won't like you anymore. I say this to you, my young queens, don't ever be afraid to tell a man no, it's okay. He will be okay. He'll be all right and move on, so don't worry about him and his feelings. Worry about you and yours and protecting yours, okay? And so... Um, 
and, and, and finding your ship and knowing that it's okay to tell a man no. <laughs> uh, men as well, y'all can say no too. <laughs> I don't want to make this just a one side thing. It's, it's women out there that's, that like to force themselves on men. Uh, so you can tell them no as well. Uh, also, you know, using condoms and other contraceptives, you know, that will protect you. And so there's no, you know, excuse as, as to why, you know, other than if you, that's your choice if you just choosing to go down that road of unprotected, safe, uh, unprotected sex. Um, but there's too many, you know, resources out there. You know, you can go to free clinics and get free condoms, you know. You can also go to the clinics and get free testing if you need to. I also encourage you guys to, you know, check your own local listings. If you need any type of testings, go get tested. Um, go to the free clinic, uh, your doctors, whatever the case may be. Look it up online and go do that. Uh, again, remember, you're the captain of your own ship. Okay, and so with that being said, I definitely want to again send my thoughts and prayers uh, for those that are fighting this battle and for those that have lost this battle and people that are not just uh, infected with this disease, but that are that have been affected by it. You know, family members, friends, co-workers, you know, if it affects one person, it affects all of us. And so again, my thoughts and prayers are with you all. Um, anybody and everybody else out there, be sure to make sure you're practicing safe sex and doing your own research and, and finding out, you know, where your local uh, health and human services are in your area. Okay. And with that being said, you guys, if you like the message that I'm bringing you guys today and uh, what we're talking about, or if you, you know, in support of HIV AIDS awareness, you can do so by showing me that you uh, enjoyed it by liking, sharing, and commenting and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. So be sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Definitely share it. Uh, also comment uh, and, and just keep the conversation rolling about the importance of spreading the awareness about, you know, AIDS and HIV awareness, including safe and protected sex. Uh, as well as, you guys, don't forget, you can also check out my website at differenceworld.net. Uh, check out all my other social media handles, my Facebook, Instagram, my Twitter. Also, you can go online there and book me for any type of motivational speakings or grassroots conversations you like for me to be a part of. Even podcasts, I don't care. Whatever y'all want me to be and talk on, you know, call me and here I come. You know, free of charge as of now, so get it in while you can. Uh, as well as, don't forget, you guys, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Ship, is available on my website, again, differenceworld.net. It's a good time to get this uh, as a Christmas gift for all the bookworms in your family. Again, it's a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised that it is sensitive content. So if you cannot take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Why? Because I want you guys to have these conversations that need to be had. That's the point about the book, to get that ball rolling, right? And so uh, again, my website, differentworlds.net, and you can get my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So moving on, right on down the agenda. This is how I keep it going with the Difference World train. Uh, next on topic, what do we have, you guys? Do, 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 do. Mental health check time. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, one of my favorite parts of uh, the vlog content I'll be dropping, you guys, is doing the mental health checks and uh, just sharing with you guys and reiterating, including myself. I uh, <clears throat> like to practice what I preach. And so uh, with that being said, it is okay to not be okay, but never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. That's just become uh, uh, an affirmation for me, and then I hope it comes one for you guys that may need it. And, and whatever type of mental anguish that you are going through, be it depression, bullying, anxiety, you know, feeling suicidal, uh, alcoholism, you know, drugs, relapse, recovery, whatever the case may be, you have to know and understand that whatever you were going through, it is not, you know, a permanent situation. It is a temporary situation. It too shall pass. But you have to be the one to take control of your ship and decide where it goes to navigate the waters. So if you know anybody or need these resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. You can call or text 988 or you can text 741741. For those that would prefer, you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go to 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside of the U.S., you can go to ncounseling.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C-O-U-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, remember you guys, please do your own research. Get online. 
Uh, check your local listings, find what works best for you. And when it comes to keeping your mental health in check and making sure that you do not go off the deep end as well as taking nobody with you, okay? So uh, with that being said, we're gonna move along with the gravy chain and keep it rolling. And um, what else we got going on in different for you guys? Tomorrow, I'll be dropping uh, my, I said I was gonna drop it last week, I apologize. But this week, here it is for sure. I'll be dropping my podcast uh, interview with uh, Kendra Thomas for Daily K, excuse me, Daily K podcast uh, show. And so be on the lookout for that, you guys, tomorrow. Um, what else I got, you guys? That's exactly why you got to hit that subscribe button, that notification, and then you'll see what's coming, going on in different for you guys. So uh, with that being said, you guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful day out there. Manifest plan and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you all. Different 12. Come and learn. Peace. What if what if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.